Hello, my name is David Cowgill, and here at ATOR Labs, our new Automated Breathing Metabolic Simulator, or ABMS for short, emulates a human consuming oxygen, production of carbon dioxide, and other metabolic functions necessary to test respiratory protective devices. Let's take a short tour of our ABMS capabilities. One of the primary functions is to evaluate the work or effort it takes to breathe a respiratory protective device. On this screen you can select different respiratory rates in order to simulate a human resting or working as hard as a man can do. In accordance with the ISO, a table that will extend from 10 liters a minute up to 135 liters a minute to represent the largest person being able to run and exercise the respiratory protective devices to their limit. While this testing is going on, we can monitor the temperatures, carbon dioxide and oxygen, and the nitrogen being re-injected along with the CO2 back into the system to effectively consume the oxygen that the human would. Stressors are evaluated separately in order to give the user a quick overview of the parameters that would cause the unit to fail. For more information on the functionality of each of these individual parameters, please check out our other videos available on our website. In this video segment, we're going to talk about carbon dioxide and oxygen monitoring. Here we have a closed circuit rebreather on our system, and you'll notice we have the ability to go from testing in this orientation to reverse the head form and allow us for longer apparatus to extend down the back of the machine. Here on the control tab of the ABMS, we can set the parameters for volume, breaths per minute, oxygen consumption, and CO2 injection in order to simulate a human working an extended period of time. As the gas begins to flow into the apparatus and the breathing machine begins to cycle, we have 500 hertz data coming from the carbon dioxide, oxygen analyzers, and tracing on the screen in blue for carbon dioxide and green for oxygen. The black tracing is the piston sinusoidal movement, and the gold is the pressure differential at the mouth. In this video segment, we're going to look at the metabolic consumption of oxygen and production of carbon dioxide and how the ABMS accomplishes this. During the inhalation process, gas stream is withdrawn from the inhalation path and sent to mass flow controllers, which vary the amount of gas being withdrawn according to the amount of oxygen requested to be consumed. A gas mixture is withdrawn from the apparatus and then analyzed for its oxygen and carbon dioxide content. The nitrogen portion is then re-injected into the piston along with any amounts of carbon dioxide that exist in the outgoing consumption stream. On this data screen as previously described, we see the carbon dioxide and oxygen as they cycle through the breathing process. As the gas mixture coming from the apparatus stabilizes, we see that the amount withdrawn and the amount re-injected stabilize as the oxygen content starts to increase. These processes are followed in order to determine how long an apparatus will continue to remove the carbon dioxide and provide the oxygen that the user requires.
In this video segment, we're going to evaluate the inwards leakage rate of our system. Here we have a mouth plug that I can insert and our system will draw a vacuum in order to evaluate the integrity of the breathing system. The ABMS has two separate leak test procedures. One is a vacuum leak test and the other is a pressurized leak test. Here on the left screen, I'll push the start leak test button and the vacuum pumps begin to pull down the gas within the volume of the breathing circuit. We've set a target value of minus two kPa and you can see on the right screen here, the pressure is dropping rapidly. Any leakage rate under 100 milliliters per minute will conform to the ISO standard. On the screen there are a 10 second average and 60 second average block. And when those two units come to the same amount, we'll know that the system is in fact at its minimum pressure. This takes a couple of minutes as all of the volume is being drawn out, but it's very useful to see that the system integrity is held. We use mass flow controllers to monitor the inward leakage rate. The vacuum test verifies that the system is tight. The positive leak test allows us to use a soap solution in order to find a leak in either our system or the apparatus under test. video segment, we're going to review some of the temperature evaluating capabilities of our system. Here on the panel, we have an additional set of temperature probes that the user might wish to plug in to investigate some temperature changes within the apparatus under test. The system has several of their own monitoring temp probes. Here on the right screen, we track the system temperatures, the wet heater, the mouth temperature, and the room in which we are testing. On the left screen, we see the apparatus under test and the three probes in the mouth as we are breathing. Here are the wet probe and two dry probes that are in there coincide very well to give a profile of the temperature changing as the system is breathing on the apparatus. Additional probes that the user may wish to see can be brought up by clicking on the individual channels and bringing those to the front or hiding them if one tracing blocks another behind it. Temperatures are tracked throughout the study in a graph manner that allow a zero point to remain on the screen and then new data is brought in from the right hand side. In this video segment, we're going to explore a bit more of what the work of breathing capabilities are and how we verify that we match the ISO 16900 standard. Within our system, if we select the PV loop tab, we'll see the analysis screen on the right and the control on the left screen. Here the ISO verification orifice numbers are laid out in a table and we'll take orifice A and use it for an analysis on one of the verification parameters. We'll select the 35 breaths per minute rate and here on the screen you can see the pressure loop being traced. The pressure goes negative on inhale and positive on exhale. In order to capture the data we press the button on the screen and the areas are populated at the top showing the room temperature, barometric pressure, and the other parameters around which the data was collected. Now to analyze this loop, we select the single loop work of breathing analysis tab and press the button to do the analysis. Here we have the tracing and on screen we have the analysis produced by the system which gives us the work of breathing that we can compare to this chart and see that we are within compliance of the variance allowed. Were this not to come in within the parameters, we would know that it was somewhere within our system we had a leak. And we can do that in our next video, our leak test.
this video segment, what we'd like to do is show the capability for those who might be doing prototype work and how the instantaneous feedback can help the user gain an insight into how a single component change can be shown immediately on the system. Here we have a set of mouthpiece and hoses and I'll insert that into the mannequin's mouth. You can see on the screen immediately we have a pressure change created by the valving. Here's the valve opening and the negative pressure when you inhale and here's the exhalation valve cracking and the positive pressure for exhale. And what I wanted to show is that if you were to change the components simply changing the diameter of this hose you can see an immediate feedback on the screen which allows a user instantaneous feedback on what he's doing with a component. Did he make it a piece better or worse in a breathing effort? Valves or other minute changes in a design can drastically affect the way that it breathes. And our system will evaluate those parameters to the user, allowing them to improve their respiratory protective device design. In this video segment, we're going to look at the calibration of the equipment attached to the ABMS. The entire calibration process can be completed in about five minutes or less. The single button on the screen will allow us to calibrate both the 500 Hz CO2 and oxygen analyzers as well as the trending oxygen and CO2 analyzer. And the slope and intercept values for all of the equipment on board is given here in the calibration screen. Also located on this screen are the serial numbers and model numbers of the equipment used within the system. On the left monitor here are the control voltage outputs and all of the temperature inputs. In this video segment, we're going to go over the help menu and how it may assist the user in becoming familiar with the system. By clicking on the red help tab, it brings up information organized by like numbered tabs at the top that allow the user to click on a given subject and learn more about how the ABMS uses these functions to control the parameters that we use to test the equipment. Tor Labs Automated Breathing Metabolic Simulator, or ABMS, simulates human respiratory performance and metabolic activity across a wide range of conditions. Engineers and scientists can now perform and analyze pre-programmed or custom test sequences in accordance with ISO requirements, all on one machine. The ABMS pushes respiratory science further, enabling research of new concepts, evaluation of prototype designs, and the manufacture of quality respiratory protective devices. Music